Hey everybody, it's Andy Barrar, aka Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. And today I'm doing a review for Best Buy's blog on a new wireless earbuds from Panasonic. These are in the mid-range and the model is the RZS500W. Now in this review, we're going to take a look at the design of these earbuds. We're going to talk about the fit, the comfort, the sound design, the active noise cancellations, ambient mode, a whole lot. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, let's get it! Cue the intro! Now I'll mention from the top, these are one of three wireless earbuds that I'm reviewing from Panasonic. So if you haven't already, make sure you watch those other reviews so you can have a better idea on which one is right for you. Now the S500W, which we'll call for short, um, comes in both black and white. I have the black model over here. The first thing that I noticed when I looked at it was the case is considerably smaller than the Technics, which is their high-end brand case. And just by looking at it, you can see that it is definitely smaller and these are small enough to fit in your front pocket. I should know because I tried it. Now when you open it up, what you'll notice is that the earbuds themselves kind of have this like rubberized like look to it and on the grill you'll notice that they have these like it's almost like a horseshoe design and inside are these small little holes they might be vents I'm not 100% sure but it does give it a little bit of an aesthetic design to it on the back panel which also houses the touch controls now in terms of the touch controls I'm typically not a fan of them I like the tactile buttons, but you know, with mid-range and especially premium models, they're all going touch and it depends. Some work better than others. These ones actually work really good. However, the way that Panasonic has designed them is that they have the volume for some reason on the left earbuds and I'm not really used to that. You actually have to triple tap to make the volume go up and double tap for it to go down. It's kind of weird. It takes some use to getting used to. But it, it's basically like a little rhythm. So I think you do get a little bit of muscle memory. The great thing is, is it these earbuds work with the Panasonic Audio Connect app. And in that, you can actually switch it. So if you want to customize the touch controls, you can do all that inside the app, which is something I really appreciate. Because you might go from one model to another and you want to keep that muscle memory of those same touch controls. And you can do that with these earbuds. Now they come with different silicone tips because everybody's ears are different and I highly recommend if you purchase these to go through all of them. Even if they have a good fit, try other ones because you never know. Um, that's what I experienced and a lot of people complain, oh, these don't fit good. And I'm like, did you try the other silicone tips? They're like, no. I'm like, what do you expect? You know, you expect them to know what your ear size is. They're just trying to do the best and make, you know, a default one but there are smaller and larger ones depending on your fit. So please go ahead and do that. In terms of the battery life, Panasonic says you can get about six and a half hours of battery life, which is pretty darn good, especially for this being a mid range. I believe with the case, you're going to get a total of 19 and a half hours of battery life. So for a full day, not a problem. There is, however, no wireless charging. You're seeing a lot of earbuds move that direction. These ones charge inside the charging case, sometimes known as the charging cradle, and everything is charged by USB-C on the back. So provided you get into the habit of charging your phone and your earbuds every time at night, you should be fine. Now let's talk about the noise canceling features because that was probably one of the features that impressed me the most. Panasonic developed their noise cancelling from the ground up and they're using something called dual hybrid noise cancelling. Essentially what they did is they equipped the S500W with two microphones, one on the outside and one on in the inside. And then using their digital and analog signal processing, they can actually, you know, detect the unwanted noise and then eliminate it from your conversations. How they do this? Like on the back end, I am really, really interested in because it's quite fascinating. But having those two microphones gives it more data for it to analyze the environment and then can uh, cancel it. So 
when I was calling my brother, I was walking to the gym and I was talking to him. I had no issues. You know, I, he, I, I forgot to ask him what the sound quality was, but it was windy. There was buses going by, cars going by, and he didn't even complain. So I have to say that that was something that really, really impressed. It's probably one of the best noise canceling um, technologies that I've seen on any of the earbuds. And you got to understand, Panasonic has just entered the wireless earbud market. Panasonic, you know, we're talking about an audio brand that's been around for decades, but only now that they've come and they realize that, you know what, we got to differentiate, differentiate ourselves. And I think they did that with these earbuds. Now let's talk a little bit about the fit. I happen to have kind of like normal ears. So even the standard um, earwigs that it comes with will, will work with me. But the ultimate test is, you know, because these have the IPX4 rating, meaning that you could use it uh, in the rain or even like working out so it can handle sweat. It's not the best rating. You can't submerge these underwater, but it's good enough for the average person. In terms of the fit, if you know me, you know that I always try to jump rope with earbuds because if you can handle Handy Andy's jump rope routine, you can probably handle anything else because think about how much you're moving when you're jumping rope. Uh, I had no issues whatsoever uh, jumping rope with these. I'll talk a little bit about the sound quality later, but that was one of the reasons why I really wanted to jump rope was because one of my favorite songs to jump rope to sounded really good on here. And uh, I kind of just like ran outside like a little kid and had to test it out. So if you are wearing or going to purchase these uh, to be active, you shouldn't have an issue with that. Um, and if you do, make sure you try the other silicone tips to make sure that you have it. Because sometimes it might be comfortable, but you need a little bit tighter fit, especially if you're running or moving a lot. Maybe you're at the gym, your head's moving. Definitely try those tips. I, I can't recommend enough because nobody does it. They just kind of like throw them away and then they complain, oh, my earbuds don't fit. And it's like, you're killing me, bro. Like, what, what can I do? You didn't even try all the different tips that it comes with. Now let's talk about the sound quality. So it was really interesting because I had these three earbuds all at the same time. So I got to test them back to back to back on the same song. And when you do that, you really start to appreciate the, the subtle sonic differences between earbuds. The Technics ones that I reviewed originally, um, the, their premium models, they had 10 millimeter drivers. These Panasonic S500W has eight millimeter drivers. And I'll tell you this, I could, like, if I didn't know which one I had, I probably, I'm not sure if I would be able to guess the right one. It's a very subtle difference between 10 and eight. So what that tells me is for the price point, for these mid-range earbuds, you're getting premium sound quality, like really, really good. The bass, the low end, uh, really, really is attenuated. I, I noticed it immediately, especially when I compare it to other earbuds, they're a little twangy. This has got that low end. And if you listen to electronic music, or like me, like this like retro synth wave, like 80s inspired music, you're gonna really, really uh, like these. In fact, I listened to this song, it's called Kung Fury or Enter the Fury, that's the instrumental version, by Mitch Murder, a Swedish producer. Weird name, this guy makes fantastic music. Check him out, Mitch Murder, if you like 80s music. Well, Enter the Fury, it's one of my favorite songs to jump rope to. I was actually listening to it while I was comparing all these earbuds and it sounded so good. And I had that bass, I had that treble, I could feel the beat that I actually ran outside. I had to jump rope to it. And I was like in the, it's like, it's like jumping on a train, man. Like I'm in the zone, I'm on beat and just giving her. Um, and only certain earbuds can motivate me to do that. And the SW500, what is this called? Sorry. This is, I can't ever get the naming conventions right with these. These are the RZ S500W. Um, fantastic for jump rope. So whether you're working out or you're just listening to modern pop music, you're going to like this. Of course, it does come with the Panasonic app in there. You can actually attenuate the bass. You can, if you listen to a lot of podcasts, make it so that the, the human voice really sticks out in that perfect frequency range. Or you even have your own EQ and you can just adjust your EQs from there as well. So in terms of my final thoughts, 
Here's what I have to say. These Technic ones, these, you know, they're like bling. These are like ultra high-end earbuds. They're fantastic, but they are very, very expensive. These ones right here are just a step down from these ones, meaning these are a tremendous value. If you want to get your most bang for your buck, you want like premium audio quality, but you don't want to pay a premium price, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed about this. Especially, and I didn't mention it on this, and I've got to end it off, the independent signaling system that they have for the connections to your device. So what it does is it actually connects each earbud independently to your smartphone, your tablet, or to your laptop. What that means is that you don't lose that connection. And it is so stable that the entire time that I reviewed this, I never lost connection on either earbuds. And there are other ones, I'm not going to name names, that are very unstable where one earbud will work the other one doesn't. You have to try to pair them. And it gets really confused. Some, I just give up. But these ones, that alone makes me want to recommend these. Just a stable Bluetooth connection, folks. You know, there's the little things you expect and then it doesn't happen. But apparently to do this on wireless earbuds is quite hard. But Panasonic, you nailed it. So if you never thought of Panasonic when you thought of earbuds, I highly recommend you consider it. Especially these ones, the RZS. 500W from Panasonic, wireless earbuds, budget-friendly price with a big, big premium looking sound. If you like this review, please like this video, leave your comments below, and of course, subscribe to this channel. If you want more information about me, you can head on to my website, handyandymedia.com. I also have a YouTube channel where I do a lot of tech and DIY content. Tried to grow blueberries, hasn't worked out. Going to set up an irrigation system, so you'll want to subscribe to watch my automated watering system, see if that works out. Folks, that's all the time we have left. Andy Barrar, a.k.a. Handy Andy, signing out. See you again next time. Bye for now.